All right, so just to give some quick context before we get into this video, basically Diego Sanchez is doing his fighter interview. He has an upcoming fight with Donald Cerrone. Everything's going well. All the moods are good. Everybody's smiling. Everything's all good. And then his uh, trainer comes in, Fabio, and he starts making the whole thing about himself, starts talking about all the slander that's been going on. Obviously, a lot of people have been making fun of the way Diego's been training and his recent fights have been have looked a little funny. So... Uh, his manager comes in trying to defend him, kind of makes the whole thing about himself, completely lacks like any self-awareness, probably a huge narcissist, terrible for Diego's career. But let's get into the video, check out what happened. It's pretty long, but pretty interesting as well. Let me know your guys' reactions down below. I'll see you on the next video. Hold this for a second. Hold this for a second. Hey, real, real quick, guys, just because you don't know who the hell I am. And you guys heard a lot of shit talk and all the good stuff. Let's just cut the bullshit. On the commentating, no low blows on this guy, no trying to turn the narrative that he's fucking up his legacy and all that weird stuff. Let's just keep it fair. You want some video? Contact me and I'll send it to you. You want to know what's going on? You want to actually talk to the people doing it? You might actually have to fucking talk to me. And coming at him like he's going to know all this shit, he ain't. He hasn't been there the whole time. So if anybody needs to actually get those answers, you will have to speak to me. And to do that, probably allowing the media to turn the narrative on the guy that's trying to help people here. And when you respect these two legends, it seems a little disrespectful that you don't recognize that they respect me. And if you're going to be the one telling the narrative, that's on you when I'm getting shit on by the public, by millions of people. Now, if you're going to be here like leveraging off of all this, man, notice I'm on the end of the shitty stick here. And none of you have stood up for anybody that needed to be stood up for. And that's real. You guys are like the tough guys and all this stuff. If nobody's going to... I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know? You don't no. know, you know what I'm referring to? No, I don't know what you're referring oh, to. Okay. And I haven't called one of Diego's fights no, where no, no, you've been talking, in this corner. No, I'm so. talking about... I'm talking in general because of oh, what is happening. Oh, it's not my job to, to talk about what the public is talking about outside. It's my job to talk about this athlete. Absolutely, and, sir. And his performance. That's not what I'm that's referring it. to. That's not what I'm referring to, and I, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm trying to talk straight about this man's legacy, and in these last moments of when he's in this space, when there's weird things being done, like the camera put on him to ask him questions, when you know that this illegal bastard. Right, but right? what I'm saying is none of us. I do understand, that. and that's all the reason why I'm saying this to you now, because because it's fair you. to say that. You know like, that's my point, and I just don't feel that <sighs> the past couple fights. This man has gotten a fair end of the stick, and sure shit, I sure haven't either, okay? Because nobody's actually talked to me, met me, moved with me, yet there's a whole lot of shit talk about me, and discrediting this man's opinion on what he knows. Man, the internet is, the, the media is brutal, bro. We all get it every day. I have somebody I, tell me to kill myself every day. I, 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 I understand, man. I understand. But it, it's also quite disrespectful of you to come in here filming this with your speech to us, when all of us here have the utmost respect for all of you. And it's our job as working for the promotion to respect Diego and everyone around him. We have nothing but good things to say about him. So it's very, but it's, it, it's it, odd it, you're filming it while you're trying to lecture I'm us. just documenting everything. That's okay. all I've done. But the reality is I'm, I'm saying this because of what has happened in the past. Is, anyone, is nobody going to acknowledge that the media... At me that, well, no, the, I, there's no doubt there okay, is some okay. unfair... Well, hang on. I'm just asking. The only thing we care about is... That's no, all we don't I'm need to listen to, to this. We don't need to listen no, to this. No, no, no. You're it, telling it, us we're trying to give us a riot act and how we should do our media. Media. No, it, it has no to do with me. It's a respect thing, man. It has to do with me and the end of my career. So please Which listen. we respect. But please listen, bro. Going on a diatribe about something that has nothing to do with it. No, the last fight was... Listen, man. My last fight, the commentary was horrible on me, man. They disgraced me in my own hometown, man. They were calling me a chicken. Daniel Cormier was saying how I was drooling at the mouth, like... There was there was a lot of a lot going on, man. There was a lot going on, and and, and we're just here to talk to you guys. And that's all I'm I mean, saying it's, it's, is if we're gonna be honest, we look at that here, man. I'm saying this man deserves a fair shot in the sense of let's not go 30 seconds into it and tell the narrative. Oh, any more kicks like that, Diego's done. Yet he's not bleeding and he's coming out of the round perfectly safe and sound. So it I'm curious. To all the fighters. It doesn't matter who you are. It happens to all the fighters. It, you're, you're right. I, it does. But you can't control what they're seeing and relaying to the I, I understand that. And, and all that I'm saying is a fair shot of letting it be seen. Or your teaching. What's that? 
that also has nothing to do with you or your school or your teaching. No, no, no. What they're seeing in the ab- game. Ab- absolutely. Lane. Ab- so absolutely. That's what just I'm... what it seems like you're doing. You're, you're making it about yourself. And it's <clears throat> about the ego. I'm sorry. It seems have, like that. It was about the commentating anything, uh, that I'm referring to. About you. No, no, you don't. Let, okay. I'm sorry if your guys are moving so fast in your own worlds with your own articles. Maybe you're not aware of the negative impacts of the media and the things that have been targeted at this man for over a year and a half that have to do with self-esteem, psychology, and all that shit that everybody's wondering about. And I'm trying to understand why is it so hard to talk about respect in that context. I'm just asking for a fair plate. And in the context of commentating and seeing something fair, I kind of think if we're already going to talk negatively before anything even happens, that's painting the picture so nobody sees things clear. Well, and I'm that's, happy to connect that's all with I'm you saying. after the fact to get that's, a little bit more insight that's into all what you're saying. saying. I can't Thank speak you, to John. Daniel Cormier. I you know how much that. I respect you. I, I have appreciate it. Absolutely. I, have, I was not Rio Rancho, nor was Paul, right? But I will connect with you, and I will try to. I mean, but all I have mentioned on the air is your alignment. No, 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 absolutely. And you if know. you don't understand what I'm referring to and why I'm speaking adamant like this, please go to Google, go to YouTube, and just, no, r- real quick. Put in my name, and then see what's going on with the slander. I've seen it. Okay, so you've seen They're it. They're all well aware of it. Oh, so, so if you're well aware, why are we acting like this didn't happen? Why because are you talking? This, this is, is not, not about you. Lost. This it's is David, Diego's no, 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 no. fighter meeting. There's no reason but it has to do with him. That's my point. Talking. Because you're disrespecting us, and we have other athletes that are waiting right now to be in this room to have the opportunity that Diego just had, and you're lecturing us on something that nobody's lecturing. I'm trying done. to ask for a fair plight. If, if that's too much to ask for, clearly it's fine. I was just asking. And, like and a stern we always, we are always giving a fair shot to everyone. Everyone. It is our job. <clears throat> I understand that you've done that. I'm just saying, in this man's experience and what I've witnessed, some things don't seem quite level or fair or just. And when my name has been slandered, when this man's name, legacy, and his career that you so admire has been slandered, but that part doesn't matter, that's what I'm saying when I'm here helping at the end of his career. That's all. No, that's all. Okay. And I say this out of respect for this same man. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though nobody gives a shit. That's the point, man. Like, I care about him just the same as you say you care. And you're not respecting me for doing that. <sighs> Yeah, watch his last fight. You can see why that hurt his feelings a little bit, you know? So. But, but on top of it, that's, if, that's if, all. if the media is yeah. going to... Totally, listen, that's yeah. totally understandable, but delivering the message could be in a much when, more respectful way. Yeah. We're when, not filming it to try to... She's not saying the when, something. she's talking about the how. Yes. We, we don't need to film anything. You're filming it, not that's us. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Listen, just just guys. like filming me in the octagon and using it against me. Same shit, man. Like, stop. I'm not putting this on the internet. I'm having a civil conversation, and it's a problem? Like, seriously, do you guys not see that? I'm just talking, and it's a problem. That's interesting. That's interesting when all I'm doing is bringing man, light to this I didn't to sign up for your lecture class. I'm out, man. Nobody wanted to lecture you. Can you the skew, button. None of them can be skewed to determine what they're going to say on TV because you don't like the narrative. Not how that the commentary works. What articles are read? We don't write articles, right? That's not a part of our job. But if they see something, their job is to provide color and context to what they're seeing in those moments. It's I'm not always not correct or right, mm-hmm. but that's their yeah, job. And I maybe it won't be painted perfectly in how you like it. But if you say something like a guy won a first round that they don't agree with, it's their job okay. to say so that. Well, they don't have to agree with you, and well, you don't have to agree with them. But they're still going to have to do their job respectfully. If you felt it was disrespectful, then we appreciate you bringing that to light, and we'll try and see if they, we can balance that commentary. But if you say in a corner that you think a fighter won a round, and our commentators disagree with that, then it's their right to disagree with that. You understand that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to be skewed by what you're telling us. We don't need to hear a lecture from you. Understood. Have a great day. Of course. But, like, rest assured, I see what's out there. And on broadcast, I will never do anything. But I'm saying the last of the people. It has to be a matter of who. Are we going to stand or are we going to have space? So, this is the one moment I'm in front of the future. And all I'm saying is, let's stop the local movement. I'm serious. And I'm like, over it. It's slander. It's character assassination. I agree. It's all other things. I agree. And that's all. Yeah, my boss is going to kill me if I'm not back in there for SARS. And I appreciate it.
appreciate you. Well, no, I've been coming and saying that. Obviously, because you see, but it might not, it might not. A car goes by that I'm not putting out some sort of fire with an athlete or coach, right? Like Joey Rodriguez got up in my face after Josh and the Peach came. Says to me, sorry, the guy didn't win, you know. But you know, but I take this very seriously because I put this man in the highest regard. So obviously, you know. But the fact is, he hasn't been taking as much damage. No, no, no. Well, that's why I said I want to talk to you about some of these things, you know. If they say that in the commentary, maybe I'm not a fucking asshole. Hey, well, right. And so when the UFC is doing commentary, and they are putting this angle out, and I got Max Seeler talking shit, I got DC talking shit, right. and neither one of the assholes would stand next to me and move with my I'm all over it. I'm all over it. So I'm just talking with people, and all of a sudden I'm an asshole. Well, no. And nobody's telling me that. I will do my best to do right by not just Diego's name. You're looking good. Yeah, I don't Thank, you. Thank you, John. I, I can't just shake your hand. I, I have respect for you and I appreciate you, man. There's a venue for them to shit on us. There's no venue for me to shit on them. And for me to take five minutes of your time when we've been waiting around all day, come on, man. That was rude. Really, that was really spot. And you know it, brother. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. Good to see you, sir. But that's the power of the camera.